Hi guys, in this video I've got an Airfix 148 scale Bristol Blenheim Mark 1. It is a skill level 2 out of 4, it has free flying hours, so if you're an Airfix member, that may be an interest to you. It was tooled in 2018 and it got new parts in 2020. So with the information out of the way, we'll take a look at the box art. Straight away, it looks like we're floating over Italy. What did perk my interest was this CR42, and I'm wondering we should go look for the model kit for that in the future and do a potential future unboxing on the channel. So with that being said, let's get the box open. It's like most Airfix boxes, it's a top opener. The first thing you met with is your bag of sprues. They're all in one bag. Then you have your instruction book. Then usually they tuck the decals in, there you go. You have your decal sheet. So we'll make a start by cutting these out of the bag and take a look at the sprues. So we're going to start off with sprue B. At any point, pause the video so you can have a better look for yourself. So I'm going to bring it up closer now. We're going to start from the corner. We're going to work our way along. And I'll bring this in for close-ups at specific points of interest. Seems like zero flash at the moment. I've already spotted a bit of flash, but it's so minor. Exact on A4 bit of sand and we'll clean it up. Okay, let's have a closer look at now. See, there's a little bit of flash there. But it's very, very minor on 32. Is it machine gun at 29? Lovely. Thanks to a viewer though, he suggested that some people want, may want to see what's on the other side, which I must admit I have been lacking on like turning over. So I'm going to take his suggestion and turn it over, which is much appreciated feedback by the way. So I'm going to bring it back up closer. There's some factory oil there or factory grease from the molding. Might need to clean these sprues up a little bit since I see that grease mark. I don't know everybody cleans their sprues, but you might need to on this kit. Especially my one, I need to clean it. Okay. That's sprue B. Next we have sprue A. We'll start we we'll start here. Work quite long. And then we'll come back to have a really clo good close up.
There's your wing. Let's have a closer look at the details now. Look at that. Here's your pilot, which is very rare nowadays to get a pilot with a kit. From my experience, anyway. Number 35. There's these little arms. It's lovely. There's some more detail here. Twenty one. Here's twenty two. Look at that, that's lovely. Okay, flip it over. If you're on the fence on this kit, I hope this helps you make your mind up, if you want it or not. Like I've said in the past, I have my eyes on the newer releases, not just Airfix, but other brands. Just like the Marauder and the Liberator. Close look now. Okay. That is screw A. We have Spruce C. This is my favourite. Yeah. It's got a bit of a wobble. Start in the corner. Here's another grease mark. And number 39. Yeah, clean this kit. <laughs> Nice. Okay, let's have a closer look. What should we look at? Let's look at these. I'm trying to think what to look at here. Yeah. Number 30. Twenty nine. Number four. Okay, let's turn it over.
fairly clean. There's zero flash. Like I think I think like one one bit had a sprue. I mean that had a bit of flash. Okay, that is sprucey. Oh actually before we go. Nearly, look, here we are. Close look at them. So that little detailing on the uh, number 10. We have sprucey again. So we'll just We'll look at it for the sake of transparency. Grease mark, the same area. What? Flip it over. I love engines, I do. Get it in focus. There we go. That is a spruce C also. Now we have sprue. E. What's that? A little bit, just a little bit of dust or something on that, a little bit of dirt. Okay, let's have a closer look at this. Let's turn it over. Through E. Yeah. Now the fuselage. This is sprue D. Got some detail to look at here. Bring it up for a closer look. So I'm going to go around again. Make sure it's all there. Now 
Now let's get right in. Get in focus. Right, let me try something. Just an experiment right here. No, it's too pixelated. Okay, turn it over. So you get to look inside the fuselage now. I'll just work my way up again. Let's go in for a closer look. Lovely. That is a sprue D. Right. Next, we have a clear, the clear part, the clear sprue, which is, if you've seen some of my past videos, a slight obsession of mine. All in one fridge. Turn it over. Okay, now I'm gonna get the micro sole or micro set. We're gonna have a look. So look at set. That's clear. Very clear. No scuffs, nothing. Look at that, super clear. Oh, okay, that's all the sprues. Here's the instructions. Let's zoom in for a closer look. So we'll start from the top. You've got your different languages. Any specifications, for example, up here, great, let's open the first page, more specifications and languages, assembly instructions, assembly icon instructions, So construction begins. This is page three. Yep, 
You have your options there. Don't just turn it over. Page four. So you start building the seat. Cockpit area. Page five. May not be that big a build actually. Nice detail though. You need your decals here. Page six. Another option. To be fair, it's only skill two, so I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> this is page seven. You have a notice here. Page eight. Page nine. One step forty here. about the noise page 10 page 11 start putting the wings together bottom and top Cool little look at the detail here. Remember, you get a pilot with this one. Page 12. Page 13. This is my favourite. Two times, hence two screw C, uh, two C sprues. Page fourteen. Here's an option to be aware of. Again, clear parts start going in. And you start connecting your engines on. Page 15. 
get your exacto knife ready. You have an option to. Page 16. For example, you're already getting your assembly icons here. So it's best to remember them or go back to the front to look at them. Page 17, step 94. Now she's uh, getting ready to stand on her own. Got to notice here. Page 18. This is a rare one for me. A pilot. Nineteen. If you're on the back, that's it. That is the instructions. Next, it'd be the decals. Here are the decals. I've not forgot the paint schemes. That's coming up right after this. Mine has little dents there, but it won't affect it, to be honest. It's probably down to this individual kit. It's probably where it's been stored before I purchased it. But like I said, it won't, it won't affect it. And decal, and Airfix's decals are fantastic 99% of the time. Okay, now you'll get the paint schemes. It has a little bit of glare again, it has this shiny effect. So what I'll do, like I did last time with the Liberator, I'll put it in the community part so you can have a look for yourself without the glare. But I'll still try my best to get it in so you can have a look. So the paints you'll need for that scheme. That is scheme A. Turn it over. Scheme B. There you go. Make sure I'm not missing anything like that at the back. No. Okay, guys, that's everything in the kit. Thank you so much for watching. I have my eyes on new kits coming. Not only Airfix, but other brands. So, see you in the next one.